Hey guys, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. So we're going to do kind of like a home video type of vibe on this one today. So what we're doing is hooking up a whole bunch of displays to the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. And as you can see, I've got a ton of monitors hooked up to this thing. And I've been playing around with it for about an hour. And it's working pretty darn good. So let me tell you about it real quick and then we'll take a deep dive on how to set this up. So we have the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 sitting on the table there. And on top of the table that's connected to it, I'll show you the connections here in a little bit, we have two 1080p 60 hertz monitors. Behind that on the wall is a 65 inch 4K 60 hertz monitor. And if we move the Tab S8 Ultra over here a little bit, you'll see that that is my gaming monitor, which is a 1440p 165 hertz monitor. And you'll see my desktop computer is off. That's because I have a 10 foot HDMI to USB-C cable running over to the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. And you're probably wondering, well, how did you connect up to four monitors? You're only supposed to be able to do three. Well, the way I'm doing that is I'm using Miracast to connect to the 65 inch. So we have three wired connections. We have the built-in display for the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360, and we're running Miracast to the 65 inch TV all at the same time, and you can completely configure it. And here's a cool thing too, and we'll show this when we get a little closer into the computer, is that when you're connected to a higher refresh rate, higher um, resolution type monitor, like the gaming monitor, it will output to that native resolution. So I can literally get 145 hertz on HDMI, 165 hertz if I use DisplayPort. So you have a lot of options with the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. I definitely wanted to show this. It's not like showing it off. I get asked about this a lot, actually. Like, you know, can you hook up a monitor to it? Can you hook up more than one monitor? Well, we've got a total of four monitors here with the inbuilt display still working as well. And that's 1080p 60 hertz built on the built-in panel. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, move the Tab S8 Ultra over closer to the Galaxy Book 2. And uh, I will show you how I got all these connections set up. All right, so here we are back with the, uh, at the table with the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. You'll see that every one of the USB ports is taken up. So here's what's going on here. So for the gaming monitor that's out of view right now, I've got this 10 foot, uh, this thing right here. It's a USB-C to HDMI adapter cable. And uh, they're like 10, 15 bucks, depending on the length that you get. So I got one 10 footer and one six footer. I'll go ahead and link them in the description. Just pick out any kind you want. I just grabbed the cheapest ones because it doesn't really matter. So that is running USB-C out to HDMI into the monitor. Then over here, I'm standing behind the Tab S8 Ultra. And I apologize if the audio is not so great. I'm not using any special mics or any fun stuff in this video. We're just doing like a, you know, B-rated movie type thing here. So to connect this one here, I have a USB-C to HDMI cable that's going right to the back of the monitor. And then to connect this monitor here, I'm using, I think this is an Anchor 345. I'll link it down in the description. These go for about 30 bucks or so, but this is a multi-port adapter that has an HDMI out. So I just have an HDMI mail to HDMI mail going to this screen here. And then for the TV, for at least the time being anyways, I'm just mirror casting this, which means I'm pressing the Windows key and K. Here, let me just show you guys real quick so we're on the same page. Do the little dance here. Windows K, and then I pick the screen that I wanted to present to, and I pick the 65-inch TV in the back. And if we go into display properties, let's take a look at what we have. It's kind of awkward here being on, a, on the side of the camera here. Look at all these monitors. That's nuts, dude. That's completely nuts. So one and four combined right now. That's the way it's set up. And we have two, three, four, and five. And if we do identify, you'll see that two's one right behind it. Three's one over to the left because I kind of swapped them around so they're in order. And then um, number five is going to be the mirror cast to display in the back. And then one and four are a combination of this panel. And let me point the screen over here a little bit. And this panel over here. Um, you'll see they're combined and they're showing the same information on the screen when I move it back. So we can literally hook up to four external displays to this laptop and it works just fine. The mouse cursor goes across all of them. Um, the way it's set now, the two are extended displays and one and four are combined. Um, but what I also want to show you too is that this outputs higher than 1080p 60 frames per second as long as you're focused in on using that monitor. So let me show you what I mean real quick. Let me disconnect a few of these and we're going to try connecting to the TV only. Uh, via HDMI 
And then what we'll also do is we're going to connect to HDMI to the gaming laptop to see if we can get the 145. It's run roughly 144, 145 hertz at 1440p on the gaming monitor. Because right now they're all running at 1080p. You'll see the, and you know that, the reason you can tell that is because these display sizes are all the same size, which means they're all outputting to the same resolution. If it's a different resolution, one will look bigger than the others. So let's go ahead and uh, disconnect some of these and focus on the more higher end panels. Let's get rid of the two 1080p's and let's see what we can do with the 4K and the 1440p and we'll wrap this video up. And again, this is just a fun little video just to see what this machine can do as far as outputting a display signal across all its ports. And as you can see, all three ports are getting used. All right, let's disconnect a couple of these 1080p's and see what the 1440 and the 4K look like. All right, so now the only display that we have hooked up externally is the 4K 60 Hertz TV in the back. Um, I have this thing hooked up here just for the mouse. Um, that's a Logitech Master MX 3S or something like that. So it has a dongle. I could connect it via Bluetooth too, but I prefer the dongle. So the only um, display out that's happening is this USB-C to HDMI. It's this cable right here. And you'll see by default, let me go over here and sit down and try to stay out of camera view. Hopefully I am. Um, you'll see here by default when we connect them, both displays show to be the same size. So the number one display obviously is going to be the internal display. We'll go ahead and identify one and two, right? Makes sense. So they both, when you, when you first connect them, they're both going to be 1080p. So we have here 1920 by 1080. But what we can do is we can select display number two, head on here down to our display options. And boom, we'll go up to the max here, 4K. Want to keep the changes? Yes. All right, now if we look at our monitors, you're going to see we have this tiny 1080p display representing this one here. And here's our one that's four times bigger, our 4K display. The Intel Iris XE integrated graphics are displaying 4K at 60 hertz. And we can confirm the hertz. Let me point this a little bit more to you guys so it comes into view. If we look at the hertz down here, we need to go to advanced display and here you can see 60 Hertz and we also see 60 Hertz right here. We can pick a lower resolution or not a resolution, but a, a lower uh, refresh rate, but why not keep it at 60? So as you can see with the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360, we can take advantage of the full native resolution of a 4K 60 Hertz panel. So now the next question is, is can we hook this up to my 1440p gaming monitor over here? and do 1440p at an even higher refresh rate because it supports up to 165 uh, on DisplayPort and up to like 145-ish on HDMI. So let's try that out next. All right, so now we have the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 hooked up to my Gigabyte Gaming Monitor, 1440p with HDMI cable connected. We're gonna get up to about 145 hertz with this. Um, so I noticed when I first plugged it in, it looks like it's combining the displays. You'll see it has one and two on the screen there. So let's go ahead and fix this so we can start uh, adjusting the refresh rate and resolution on a per monitor basis, because that's what we want to do. We don't want them both in 1080p. Well, maybe you do, but uh, I don't for this demonstration. So I'm going to show you guys. Hopefully I'm out of camera view. So the way to do that is you want to take off this duplicate displays, duplicate displays, and extend these displays. And we'll tell it to keep changes. All right. So you can see here, it automatically recognizes the native resolution. We can tell that because the monitor is a bigger size on the screen. And this is our number one monitor, um, which is going to be the internal one. So if we identify, this will be one and that'll be two, right? One and two. So if we take a look at the number one monitor, this should be 1080p, 60 hertz. And there we are, 1080p. And if we go into the advanced display properties, we will see 60 hertz. That represents this internal monitor. So let's go back one. Oops, too far there. So let's click on the second display here. And you're going to see here, if we go to display resolution, it automatically picked the recommended native resolution for the monitor. Where's my cursor at? Well, I got it on the other screen. All right, there it is. Took me a second to find that. So it automatically recommended this display resolution for us. I mean, we can go up one and not show the native resolution but you really want to keep it at the native resolution of the monitor. For this one, it's 1440. And at 1440, if we scroll down here and we go to the advanced display properties and we click on that, you'll see here we have multiple refresh options. And one of those being uh, right at around 144 Hertz, which is what you'll get for HDMI. 
So what we're getting over this display over USB-C is a 1440p signal at roughly 144 hertz, um, which is exactly what this monitor supports via HDMI. So I would say all in all, the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 does an awesome job at working with your external display. Sorry about all the bangings. I got a loud household here. Can't really control it because I don't have my mic on. You know, we're just kind of doing the Tab S8 Ultra thing here for recording. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I don't know what you guys think, but I will uh, link the products that I use down in the description. Again, you're to, you have like three options total. Here, let me grab this real quick. You have a cable like this, right? The one I showed you guys, which has HDMI mail on one end, USB-C mail on the other end. You have a USB-C to HDMI dongle. I'll go ahead and put one of those on the screen. I have one one out. I have one, let me slow down here. I have one down out in the garage somewhere, but I just can't find it since we moved. But it's just a little dongle that'll turn your USB-C to HDMI. And then you'll run a male HDMI cable to male HDMI onto the, your monitor that you wanna hook up to. And your other and third option, and I definitely recommend everyone who has a Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 or any of these Galaxy Books, is to pick up one of these USB hubs. I mean, because you'll get some uh, you know, USB-A ports here. You can do pass-through power, so you're not losing that port for charging your, uh, your laptop. And you also have SD card reader slots here, the Kingston lock stuff, and you also have HDMI out, all from one. And this is like 30 bucks, which is only 10 or 15 bucks more than one of these cables. So again, I'll link all these in the description. Just wanted to show what this machine can do. I get asked about it a lot. If you've been working with laptops a lot, you've probably already done all these crazy tests on your own. But uh, you know, if you haven't purchased one in a while and you wanted to see what they can do, I hope this video was helpful. As always, thanks for watching.